only old fashioned, but I still love making mix CDs for my friends, which is why I was especially sad when I dropped my MacBook causing my optical drive to fail. Fortunately, I was able to repair it, and it's as good as new. Hi, I'm MJ with iFixit, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the optical drive in your MacBook. This video is just an overview, so as I repair this computer, I'll try to give you some tips on the trickier parts. You'll notice it's actually pretty easy, but you'll still want to follow the step-by-step -step instructions and the repair guide on our site. The MacBook that I'm working on is an original Core Duo model. If you're not sure which model you have, check the ID or Mac section at ifixit.com because not every MacBook uses the same kind of optical drive. As far as tools are concerned, you won't need a whole lot to complete this repair. I've got a Phillips double zero screwdriver from our 26 piece bit driver kit, a plastic spudger, a coin, and of course, my replacement optical drive. I also have a screw tray, which isn't totally necessary, but there end up being a lot of screws and this keeps them organized pretty well. And now that I've got all of my parts and tools laid out, I can get started. The first thing I'm going to do is remove the battery. And to do that, I'm just gonna use my coin and unscrew the battery locking screw. And this should just come right out. There are three screws holding this memory door in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove those. And this should just come right out of the computer. There are several screws I'm going to have to remove before the top case will come off, but make sure you're following the repair guide because you don't need to remove every single screw that's visible, only the ones that are necessary. Okay. With all of those screws removed, I should be able to flip over my computer and start removing the top case. I'm going to start by kind of gently prying it up towards the back of the computer. And as I get around to the front, when I run into a problem, I'm going to use my spudger and kind of like rotate it up to release the latch which is sometimes more difficult down near the trackpad. There we go. Now don't go yanking this off right away because there is a ribbon cable that's keeping the top case connected to the logic board. So you wanna disconnect that with your spudger first. So with the top case removed, we can see the optical drive right in front of us, but don't get too excited because there are several cables and screws for me to disconnect and remove before we even get to the optical drive. I'm gonna start that by removing the hard drive because there are two screws hidden underneath it. With all those ribbon cables disconnected and screws removed, we can remove the optical drive from the computer. And there are a few bits of this that we're gonna transfer over to the new optical drive. Um, this ribbon cable, this Bluetooth antenna holder, there's a bracket on this side and a bracket on the other side. The bracket on this side is held on with adhesive. So you're gonna use your spudger to kind of pry it up. You might bend it, but try not to. <laughs> and if you encounter considerable difficulty, you could use a heat gun or a hair dryer to remove it. Now there's probably enough adhesive on these bits that you could reuse the existing adhesive on the new optical drive. But in case there's not, you could just use contact cement. Okay, that's it. All I have to do is transfer these bits over to the new optical drive, reassemble this MacBook, and I'm back to making mix CDs for my friends. Of course, you can find all the parts and tools for this and many other repairs at ifixit.com. And if you run into problems during your repairs, there are lots of solutions in the MacBook repair manual on our site. Thanks for watching and happy repairing.